So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my early Team of the Week predictions. It's an international week this week, so uh, yeah, these are always fun to predict. If you want to get your hands on some coins to buy players like those featuring in this video, check out my sponsor in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty big discount. And when I say fun, I mean they're either really easy or really difficult. There really isn't an in-between. And normally, that goes for the actual standard of the Team of the Week as well. International Weeks either produce amazing Team of the Weeks or very, very poor ones. So, uh, I guess we'll see what happens on Wednesday. Now, before we get into things, I have to say this every single time there's an international week for some reason friendlies do count international friendlies do count towards team of the week and um yeah I, I always get some comments every time i do predictions i've been doing this for years and there's always people going international friendlies don't count yes they do they have in the past and i'm guessing they will going forward so uh yeah just getting that out there straight away i know i'm still gonna get comments but if you're watching this bit right now you know what to respond to them given the timestamp of me saying this exactly right now um anyway if you could leave like rating on this video that'd be very much appreciated and in the comments below let me know who you think will pick up and inform this week now normally in this early prediction slash team week suggestion uh, video we look at games from friday and saturday from the top five leagues we can't do that this week so we're going to look at the fixtures all the way from midweek right up until today now we're not going to look at every single international game because there's been loads but we're going to look at the ones which i think have a chance at producing an inform so let's begin shall we we start on wednesday with senegal's 2-1 win and in this fixture sadio mane got himself a goal and a assist the goal was a penalty so that could definitely go against him but still he does have a chance especially on an international week equatorial guinea won 3-2 against libya and in this matchup obiang got himself a goal now his international side don't have too many players available in foot so if ea did want to go for a player from this game then this would probably be the best option also with him being gold that also makes him a bit more of an appealing um, player to pick as well. Greece won 2-1 and this guy on the screen got himself a goal and a assist. I don't know if that'll be enough to see him get an inform but obviously still he does indeed have a chance and should be noted. Germany got the better of the Czech Republic by beating them a goal to nil and uh, in the game um, Philippe Max got himself an assist and a clean sheet so could he finally get that first in form that has eluded him so far in FIFA 21. He's been in my um, predictions or notes um, quite a few times this season for PSV and um, will this be the week he finally gets the in form. With this game being a friendly I think it's a bit less likely but um, still is a possibility. Italy put four past Estonia and in this game Griffo got on the score sheet twice. One of his goals was a penalty though and that could obviously go against him but um, he certainly could be an option. And another option for the upcoming team of the week is actually a Cristiano Ronaldo. He got himself a goal and a assist in uh, Portugal's massive 7-0 win against Andorra. Now let me make it very clear. I don't think this is likely to happen at all but it could. It's a possibility, so we have to note it. I think the more likely option from this game is probably Mario Rui, who got two assists from left back and a clean sheet. You've also got Paulinho, who got two goals in this game as well. So a uh, couple of players to keep an eye on there. Poland beat Ukraine two goals to nil, but it was their goalkeeper who was one of the busiest players in this game. He made six saves and recorded a clean sheet in this game, so could have a chance at getting one of the goalkeeper spots. Speaking of goalkeepers, I would be kind of surprised to see this game not getting informed, to be honest. Finland got a 2-0 win against France, and obviously they were massive underdogs in it this game. And even though it was a friendly, I do think there's a chance of an inform. And the goalkeeper was a fairly busy man in the game, uh, made four saves and obviously kept the clean sheet as well. And also, he's one of the few players um, in that starting 11 that is a gold player. So I think that increases his chances of being included in team of the week number eight. We could see an inform Michi this week. He got both the goals in Belgium's 2-1 win against Switzerland. Um, there also are other options from this game. Both players who got assists could be uh, selected instead, but I think for two goals right now, Michi has a very good chance at getting that in form. Goran Pandev scored a really important goal as North Macedonia qualified for a big tournament for I think the first time ever. So because of that, even though it is one goal, I think this in form has a very good chance of happening the issue is though that he's a silver player so it's going to be hard to uh, see him get fitted in but um maybe we could see some hero cards this week especially for the players who've scored goals which have helped their nation qualify this week because uh yeah i think that's a possibility next we have a player from hungary who scored a 90 second minute winner for his side to give her uh, his international team the win and it was a really good goal as well if you haven't seen it i do advise looking it up kuka got himself a goal in slovakia's 2-1 win against northern ireland 
and I'm fully aware on his card it says Kuka, but um, in previous FIFAs he has been re referred to as Kuka. Unsure why the name change? If you know, let me know in the comments. Now this one I'm a bit unsure about, but um, I have to mention it. Scotland won on penalties thanks to uh, a late save from David Marshall, so maybe he could get in for that, but um, he didn't actually make too many saves in the actual 90 minutes, so I don't know if that one will happen, but um, worth a mention of course. Moving over from the Euro qualification games now to the African Cup of Nation qualifications. Um, Abu Bakr got himself two goals in a 4-1 win for Cameroon against Mozambique, so he certainly could be an option. And Andre Ayew also scored twice in a 2-0 win for Ghana against Sudan, so um, he could make it in as well. I swear he's one of them players that just seems to regularly pick up in forms on international duty. Ivory Coast also beat Madagascar thanks to a goal from Javinho and Seb Haller, so maybe one of them could get in, but um, ultimately I'm not too confident in one of them making it, if I'm being honest. One player who certainly could be picking up an inform this week, and is probably one of the more likely options, is Riyad Mahrez. He got himself a goal and a assist in a 3-1 win for Algeria, and um, this would actually be quite a nice inform if it was to happen. Burkina Faso won 3-1 and uh, Traore got himself two goals. Now, he got a hero card a couple of weeks ago um, in Team of the Week, so I don't think he'll be eligible to pick up an inform this week, unfortunately, but um, worth noting him nonetheless. Gabon got the better of Gambia thanks to a 2-1 victory. Abamian got the match-winning goal, but it was Buanga who was involved in both of them. He got a goal and a assist, so uh, I think it's fairly likely he could be making an appearance on Wednesday. And then we have another friendly match to discuss England versus Ireland and uh, in this game we have a couple of different goal scorers Maguire Sancho and Calvert-Lewin um, you guys know what it's like EA are going to throw in an English player in the upcoming team of the week it could be from this international or it could be from the uh, Nations game on at the weekend um, e either way this was definitely worth mention because you just know EA will throw one of these in we're this far into the video and we've only just got to Friday's matches so uh, yeah as I said in so many games um, and you've got to remember I haven't even discussed every single single game. I've left out like most of the nil-nil draws and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm rambling. We don't have time for that. Uruguay beat Colombia three goals to nil and uh, in this game Cavani got on the score sheet um, as did Suarez and also did Nunes. Um, I think one of the better options from this game probably could be an informed Torreira. He got an assist and a clean sheet in this game but um, ultimately I think the chances of this game producing an inform are relatively low but I think if one is to come at the moment without seeing the match written I think Torreira probably has the best shout especially with there not being too many midfield options but um, we've got some midfield options coming up so maybe I'll take that back uh, soon. Morocco won 4-1 against Central Africa and in this game Hakim Ziyech got himself two goals and a assist but he cannot get an inform this week due to being in the previous team of the week. Um, no, the one before, sorry. So uh, he won't be picking up an inform this week. But the next best option from this game is a pretty viable one. It's Hakimi who got a goal and a assist. So uh, I feel like he's got a good chance at getting an inform this week. And I think the fact that he's got one to watch definitely does help with that. Speaking of one to watch cards, Arturo Vidal is very much in line to get an inform this week. He got two goals in a 2-0 win against Peru. And one of them was an absolute banger. So um, I'd look that goal up after this game if I were you because... Uh, yeah, it was a great strike. So now we're going to talk about some of the games played today on Saturday. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to cover every single one, just the ones which I think could produce a notable inform. We will begin with Germany's 3-1 win against Ukraine. Now in this match, Timo Werner scored twice, so his one to watch this week could be getting a boost. Another option though is also Sane who got himself a goal in this game as well and then a third option from this game is Leon Goretzka who set up the first two goals so uh, three German options it's uh, an actual it's, it's a non-friendly game so I think an inform will come from this match and um, I think the most likely one right now is probably Werner but um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Goretzka either. I think this one could depend on some match ratings so uh, yeah let me know which player would you like to see in the comments. France beat Portugal, one goal to nil, and in this game, the goal was scored by none other than Angola Kante. So, uh, yeah, a goal and a clean sheet for the defensive mid, it seems to be a no-brainer. I think he will be getting an inform this week, and that inform, I think, is going to be very, very expensive. A red Kante would certainly be a very, very good pick from Foot Champs Rewards, so hopefully this one happens. And then the final game we're going to discuss in this video today is the match between Switzerland and Spain, which did end in a 1-1 draw, but 
the goalkeeper Jan Sommer was super busy and there's a very good chance he'll pick up an inform this week. So for those of you who like to do the foot champs upgrade packs, um, yeah, it looks like going forward you're going to be picking up a lot of Jan Sommers. He made two penalty stops in this game. Didn't keep a clean sheet but was a very busy man. So uh, I still feel like he's got a very, very good chance of picking up the inform this week. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. So guys, there you have it. That is the early look at the upcoming team of the week. Be sure to check out my full Team of the Week 8 prediction, which will come out tomorrow night. And in that video, we'll cover every single international game. And we'll also cover all the domestic leagues that are still active as well. So be sure to look out for that for a more accurate prediction of what the upcoming Team of the Week could be looking like. Um, as always, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. And don't forget to be active in the comments too. Let me know your thoughts on the upcoming Team of the Week. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.